Preparing for the summer season also means preparing for tick season here in Pennsylvania. The PA Health Department wants you to stay alert when you're outside and keep the creepy crawlers off your family and your pets. That's why the department just launched a new tick-borne disease dashboard. Take a look. Ticks are sneaky and can do more than just bug you. The pesky parasites will soon be out in full force in Pennsylvania. At this point, it's looking like a typically bad tick year. The Pennsylvania Health Department launched a new online dashboard that tracks Lyme disease and three other tick-borne diseases. The data shows case counts across the state and cases per 100,000 people in each county. So that Pennsylvanians can be a little bit more aware of their risk um, in real time. According to the dashboard, Allegheny County has about five cases of Lyme disease per 100,000 people right now. Though that number is more than 10 times higher in Armstrong County and 12 times higher in Indiana County. The dashboard shows in the first full week of March, there was a significant spike in tick bite related ER visits in the state, three times higher than the average the prior three years. Reflecting back on the weather that week, that was actually a really nice week in Pennsylvania. Um, you know, there were 60 degree weather almost throughout Pennsylvania, even in the 70s. Even though ticks are small, the health effects can be big. Leah Lind, the Lyme and Tick-Borne Disease Coordinator with the Bureau of Epidemiology, says they've seen an uptick in illnesses, including Lyme disease, the most commonly reported in PA. Unfortunately, if it's not treated early, then it can result in some, some more um, severe uh, symptoms and disease presentation. Um, so, you know, this is, a, you know, we do really want Pennsylvanians to be aware that, you know, almost everyone in Pennsylvania is at risk for um, Lyme disease. Before heading outside, she recommends using permethrin. You can spray it on shoes, clothing, and any outdoor gear. It kills ticks, and you only need to reapply it every six weeks or so. After outdoor fun, shower and check for ticks. It takes more time to recover if you get sick. And don't forget to protect and check your pets. If you find one, carefully remove the entire tick using tweezers. As we move into these warmer months, we're, you know, ticks are going to be out, people are going to be out. And so we are hoping that this is going to be an, um, an early indicator for people to kind of take a look and, and think, oh gosh, you know what, I, we're starting to see a lot of tick bites, so I need to take some precautions. Lynn says whether you know you were bit by a tick or not, and you notice changes in your skin like a rash that looks like a bullseye or is round, oval, or just a ring with no center, that's when you should see your doctor, especially if you have a fever or flu-like symptoms. The dashboard was also designed to be useful for doctors so they can get a sense of what's circulating in their area and what to test patients for. We have the link to the dashboard and more tips and tricks on KDKA.com right now.